Hi there, Chris here. Uh, and Suki. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I've been waiting for this package. Not too long ago, Lockwood did uh, a review of a Southord product, and was, he always does great reviews. And he kind of liked the, what is it? It's a pick set. Um, and I have not bought any Southward picks, but I kind of liked uh, the idea of it, so I ordered one. And it just arrived. I cut it open, see what I get. Oh, it's like a little book. Probably my address on there, there we go. Oh, you get a little lock picking manual along with it. So we'll put that aside. And this is a pick set that has a bunch of little tensioners and some extra hooks. Easy pickings, a self-training manual in the technique of lock picking. Wow. I don't know, but it looks like the door is already open. I'm not quite sure what, uh, <laughs> what is simple and easy to, simple to understand. Um, Okay, well, this may be a book for Suki to review. We'll set that aside. And this is what I really wanted to, to check out. Um, made in the USA. You like that? Yeah, so like I said, I, have no, I don't have any Southward picks. I have Mad Bob picks. I have certainly Sparrow's picks. I have some Peterson picks. I have trouble getting into packages. But I, up to right this minute, I had not had anything from Southward. I have nothing against Southward. Just haven't gotten around to getting any of their stuff. So. This is the NPS 200K Pocket Pin Pick Set. Taper stainless steel pick stainless steel aluminum body. To open and unscrew the top cap. Okay, I don't think we need that. So what you get, as we already saw, you got the lock picking, um, little lock picking book. You get this so you can hang it off your keychain. Um, oh, this is very clever. This here is one of the one of the tensioners. So you get a couple, three, four, four tensioners total. See, this is. Locked in a much better review. I'm just gonna open this and we'll look at it and I will probably do a, a more in-depth review later. So these are the little tips. These are actually extra tips. There's tips inside, if I'm correct. I like that profile. One of the things I look for in picks is the shank not being too thick. Uh, commercial pick companies have to make shafts pretty thick because, you know, if they don't, they tend to break. You know, they'll taper them, and that's understandable. Um, like, I made this, this pick, which is a lot thinner. Um, I like that because it doesn't interfere with low pins and you can get beyond it. But, of course, then this, all of this has to do is if it breaks, it's like, well, I made it, it broke, big deal. But... I don't break picks very often. I break uh, rakes. I've, maybe I've broken three rakes in a year. So this is how that fits in there. And you could change it out 
for, I'm going to move my name because this may show up better in a darker background. So this is another one. You could just swap that out, throw it in there and clip it to your pocket. Does that work? It must work. Oh, well, silly. If you put it in the right place, it works. You'll notice I have a burn spot on my thumb. Um, I was making some paracord uh, padlocks that I sent out with my packages because I sent out the uh, one year anniversary winter package. And I was making them up and this whole part of my thumb I once kissed the table saw blade with it and ripped it all open. And so there's there's really no feeling here. So I'm using the torch and going away, melting the end of the paracord. And I didn't really know it until my thumbnail heated up and burnt. So that's what that's about. Anyway, this is all dead as far as um, feeling is concerned. All right, so... This is like the mother load of profiles. Well, this is this is really amazing. Um, my favorite, you know, this type of pick set is my Mad Bob jackknife, but this may rival that. And look at this. Look at that great profile. That's something. Anyway, what you do, you grab, um, well, let's just grab a pick, we'll close this up. Picks go in the other end, or pick tips. I don't think I want the ball, you get two different snakes, you got a deep hook, you got a shallow hook, this is a nice hook. Once again, I do like that, that narrow, not so tall um, sh uh, shank. So, okay, I didn't crank that down with all my might, but boy, is that, that is solid. That's nice. You could pick, I don't pick that way. I always pick like this. Um, do I have something to pick? Nope, I'm out of locks. Must have something. Let us see. Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, so, whoa! The drunk camera effect. So I have this American lock. This will give it a little bit of a test of the tensioner um, because it's a little deep in there. So this would be bottom of the keyway. That seems to look feel like it's going to work. It's a little more rise than I have on my regular pick. I'm feeling. Oh man, messed up. Get in the back there. I think I might have an open, but it might, the wrench might be choking it off. Of course, it just could be wishful thinking. Well, it's wishful thinking on my part. Well, let's see, is there another one? Yeah, there's a ton of them. That one's a little narrower. Maybe I like that one better. 
go like that. I don't think so. That one's narrow as well. I'll go back to the fat one. Maybe this is an unfair right out of the box test. I can't get to my master number three. This has a very positive feel though, I have to tell you. I did have to pick kind of a challenging lock to pick. Wouldn't you know it? Well, let's let's try another tip. So that is very solid. I mean, it feels the feedback feels as good as a regular you know, solid body pick. Well, here's a, sh a shallower hook by Souk. So that goes in, snug it up a bit. The finish on these is quite nice. Um, okay, I'm gonna beat this dead horse. Which was probably a mistake, but what the heck. Yeah, it's not... If it stays there, it'll be okay, but it tends to drop down. We'll see. I am a top of the key, yeah. I am a top of the key tension guy, which I will probably make a top of the key, whoa, tension <laughs> wrench in this style. Huh, for Suki. Um, so that I will be happy with my top of the key. Anyway, real quick, we'll show you all, I'll line these all up. Suk, almost done here. Nobody does this as well as Lock New, but I have to say. His are all perfectly spaced out, and he does a great review. This is, I'm going to call this a first look. How's that? <laughs> and an aborted pick. <laughs> Two snake rakes. I like that. I do like snake rakes. <clears throat> and this Euro hybrid. I mean, and look how narrow that is. That is wonderful. So we'll move these all out here. And a big snowman. Yes, Duke. And another rake. Go right in there. And a city rake. That's what I should have tried. Oh, wow. An interesting Bogota-ish. Duke. Real quick, let's see how thick these are. Um, I'll just grab one. Happen to have the snake rake here. Point sixty three. I don't remember them being that big. Is that how we do this? Maybe we do it like this. This Maybe this is how we do this. Yeah, that's how, okay, they're 25 thousandths. That's what we're looking for. <coughs> Too much cream in my coffee. Yeah, 25 thousandths. All right. Anyway, that is the South Ord NPS 200 I'm sorry, 2000K pocket pen lock pick set. Anyway, thanks for watching. I think this is really cool. I'm going to pick with it. 
and get used to it. And um, leave a comment, and we'll see you next time.